terrible mistake. I know that better than anyone. Why? The last stranding has already begun. A seam has formed from my beach and the beaches of every soul in America. And soon it will be inundated by a vast surge of antimatter starting here. In a flash, this world will be no more. Okay, so... Consumed by an explosion. <clears throat> a big bang. So... That's so pretty. That brings us to your first choice. Do nothing. Stay here with me. And bear witness to the very end. Huh? <gasps> Just watch it burn. Together. With me. Until the last flame wings out. That's... Doesn't sound so bad, does it? That sounds awful. It's not like the world has long left anyway. Then there's the second choice. In expanding the network, you brought people and their beaches together, integrating them into a greater whole. Like this Kipu. But in doing so, you also bound them to my beach. The very beach where I opened the gates to the other side. You can't stop what's coming. But if you cut me and my beach loose, perhaps you can stop it from spreading. What? You might just prevent the last stranding. And mankind will live to die another day. And it doesn't have to end here. But it does. The beach is doomed no matter what. One look ought to tell you that. What? Which is why we must sever our connection. That'll be it. The end of the Death Stranding. You can't stop the inevitable. The sixth extinction will happen either today or tomorrow. You can either end it with dignity, quick, clean, and in a flash, or you can struggle in vain, knowing full well what's waiting come the finish. Those are your choices. It all this time. Perhaps you still have a chance to stop this nightmare. You brought the world together. You have the right to decide. Pull the rope or cut the noose. But whatever you do, don't hesitate. I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. Wait. I don't know what to do. <laughs> sure you do. I'm just a fix the delivery. Shoot. He can't. He will. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so. I mean, there's only one choice. That's shooting her, right? Wait! Is that the only choice? That's not my sister. That's more like my sister mom that I barely knew. That's kind of imaginary. Okay? Uh... Shit. Uh... Damn. 
Okay, if I have Liz and Sam shoes, I would definitely shoot her. No doubt, I would shoot her. Oh. Yeah. But. Shoot, shoot. Oh my gosh. What? What? Sorry, I kind of fucked us over. <laughs> I love how I have a choice, right? That's it. If it's up to me, you guys, <laughs> we're all dead. GG. Napping? Oh, of course. Oh, I'm ready, Sam Strand. Wait, what? Make your choice. I've seen this before. Oh, wait. I don't know what to do. Sure you do. After everything, how could you not? I got this. I just need to put on my red dress. No, it's fine. Don't worry, there are many multiverses. I'll end all of them. I'm ready, Sam Strand. Make your choice. Oh, wait. I don't know what to do. Same! What do you do? After everything, how could you not? 
Can I connect her? Wait. How could I make a decision? That I'm shooting this woman over and over again. Okay, I'll go first. Wait. I got this. I got this. Open the menu. I can't remove my clothes. I thought it was, I don't know, sexual tension. I didn't do anything. That's what I did. <laughs> I'm ready, Sam Strand. Oh my gosh, it's make happening again. Oh Jesus Christ. How do I Wait. fucking make my choice? I don't know what to do. Sure, you do. After everything, how could you not? This is the end. I should just close the game. I want to shoot myself, I don't know how. Oh! Can I... I'm here for you. Always. Like you were for me. Here, it's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. That's comforting. When you're all grown up, you'll need it to make us whole again. Oh, and no. when the time comes, you'll have to stop me. When you are the only one who can. Promise you'll remember. Sam, I'll be waiting for you She's on so the beach. Cute. I remember. You knew. You always knew. Aww. I did and I didn't. I had so many dreams of the future. I didn't know which ones to trust. Which is why I decided to share them with you and the others. But to connect the dots, to make sense of everything, you need perspective. You need time. Time has no meaning to me. I am not a line. I am a single point. Which is why all I could do was just show you the choices and let you decide. Aww. Our nightmares are your dreams. Wait. You found the common thread. The strand that links them together. Oh! And you did that the only way possible. Oh, shit. To live life one day at a time. Thank you, Sam. A 
gun won't help you here. I know. But it still has a role to play. But I shot the whales already. It didn't work. <laughs> it was the bonds between people that brought the world together. And if that is what matters most to you, then I will stay here on this beach. And I will shut myself in and the rest of you out. Shut yourself in. Come on. Once the last stranding starts, it can't be stopped. I can't go with you. All I can do oh, is try goodness. to spare you the worst. Oh, goodness. Why do you have to stay on the beach? Sam. I am the beach. And I must stay here and ensure that the extinction happens. Even if it takes tens or hundreds of thousands of years. Alone? That's what an EE does. <sighs> if I had just done my job, none of this would have happened. But I... I couldn't take it anymore. I got so tired of waiting, and I figured that no one would blame me if I just got it all over with. So... That's what I did. Sounds like hell. <laughs> but you and the others came together. Connected. And you may be living on borrowed time, but you still have hope. Before each of the big five, life rebelled. They fought back, evolved in order to survive. The extinction isn't just an ending. It's an opportunity. And if I have to pay the price for that, to be the sacrifice, then so be it. <sighs> Even if we aren't together, we will always be connected. Goodbye, Sam. Goodness gracious. What about Lucy? What about Lucy? A gun won't help you here. But it still has a role to play. You can just shoot the baby? Do I need to shoot the baby? I don't believe this is the ending. This is bullshit. There's something wrong. Oh. 
there's something wrong. I'm a Lee! Oh, where's the gun? God damn it! I'm a Lee! Oh shit. Oh! I'm a Lee. I'm a Lee. I'm a Lee. Hey! 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 I'm Sam. I'm Sam. I'm Sam. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. I'm Sam. I'm Sam. I'm Sam. Why is it so empty? This reminds me of Anyone? the very beginning of the game. Oh. no time for questions. When you were young, you used to have bad dreams. You cried about them all the time. The truth is, those weren't your dreams. They were mine. What? For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours, too. In my dreams, She's Sam? And so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again and again and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. Like this one. And I would always be the one to end it all. I to bring about the last stranding. I'm recording I this. I will upload this to YouTube. So the audio will not be cut there. Crazy killer. She probably to my VOD channel. Oh look, Kojima. I've heard that name before. Hey, 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 hey. That was the name of one of my first boyfriend? <laughs> I didn't say Kojima. What the heck? What's happening? Oh! No, that's the... What?! The first operation. I was only 20. my eyes and found myself on the beach. But the moment I came round, I was back in the hospital bed. Oh. I was split across two worlds. Bridget, my ha in that one. Amelie, my ka in this. us managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Um, for 
Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition and an absent father. for soul. <sighs> a soul that's a lie. Mm -hmm. There was no Amelie. Only me and the beach. I thought it was a curse in the beginning. But later, I started thinking. Maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach. Because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. Ah! Well, I feel like she's explaining everything right now. Kick the baby. What? Don't kick the baby? Oh, now you tell me that? Bullwig! May you accept all these souls. Find your face, find your face, find your face. I lost the baby! Bullwig, thank you so much for the 49 months on your chair trace up that I completely missed. Oh, Asian, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Mm. May the bunnies be with you. Yes, I'll keep running. Thank you. Thank you, Asian. Thank you for... We're not done, though. This doesn't make any sense. You go to baby our us and get another one. Anyone? It's okay. <laughs> I will figure out how to leave. Thank you so much. Thank you. Someone's gonna die. I realized the beach was connected to the world of the dead. Which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself. Including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history. A history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were what? simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. Oh, shit. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So, I started researching bridge babies. Children bound to the world of the dead. What? What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I founded bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. But the longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My ha, 
that cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, for not playing along like a good little E.E. -E. And then, just like that, my ho was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. So creepy. Every mystery was ours to solve. Like this one. <sighs> Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, Somehow, a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be, a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow, life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know, I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. From the ashes of the dead rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction? Is an opportunity. I actually love this so much. Well, uh, the thing is, uh, extinction is bound to happen, right? An extinction is supposed to happen. Extinction is natural, just like living and dying and having sex. I was stowed. <laughs> the only problem with the big five is that uh, It's not supposed to happen so fast. It's not supposed to happen so quickly. Because every ecosystem has its elasticity. It has so much that it can be pushed that it will eventually recover and come back. But when so much happens, that it breaks this elasticity point it may never recover again and that's the danger that we face in each mass extinction that we have but that's the thing I ah! the trigger twice that day I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. There you are. That's a... That's so fucking creepy. That's Bubble! You wanna go? 
Home. Yeah. Let's go home. I wanted. I wanted to set you free from death once and for all. It's okay. Is it okay? I know the way. Woo! Maybe I should follow. But in doing so, I upset the fundamental balance between life and death. I just wanted to save you. I am an extinction entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment, you became part of that fate. You became a repatriate, and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Oh. Not long after, the Death Stranding occurred. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options, I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. Oh no, we shouldn't have come. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. What? An EE doesn't have that option for itself. But in my nightmares, I saw another future. One that you chose. Ooh. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation. Okay, so where I stopped. Okay, so usually mass extinctions are triggered when there are great changes that are greater than any ecosystem can adapt to. It could be a meter, it could be 20 massive super volcanoes exploding at once, right? It could be everything we have done. It could be Sam moving his arms. But right now, I feel like we have a unique chance because there is so many of us, right? And we're all connected in a way because we are all safely. We are all go. together. So maybe we can figure out to take a different way. And as things get more dire. People become less selfish and they bond together. And I feel like that's our greatest hope. This is a bug! Shut up, credits! You're not done! You see, uh, at the end of the day, I feel like no matter what happens, 
either humanity is gonna learn a lesson to be better or we're just gonna kill ourselves out but life in general and the world they'll be fine and that's kind of how I started dealing with my ecology classes, you know? I kind of have faith that we'll be okay. And even if we aren't, we just cannot delete everything. And life's gonna find a way. No, there is no Mars, Goofy. I'm sorry. If we don't get our shit together here, there is no second try. We're just not... Uh, we're not capable of making Mars into Earth. Yeah, there is no chance. The thing is, if we don't come around, if we don't bound together, We'll be done. We'll make life worse for ourselves. But everything else will be okay. There will be different life forms. There's gonna be something. I know I can. We just have no power to create, uh, to make a planet livable. So we gotta take care of what we have. And we gotta deal with our differences. Honestly, we just gotta take care of ourselves. We do, Manny. We really do. That's the thing, Johnny. We don't know what could happen, right? You know, no matter what happens, I think it's gonna be really hard for our life to be over. Unless... lies kojima just just give me give me the proper ending of the game stop lying to me <sighs> a gun won't help you here but it still has a role to play Oh no. Sam, no! Do I want to reconnect with the living? I don't know. Sub. Thank you, Asian Smart. Thank you. Thank you so much for the nine months. Press F to reconnect with the living. Would you guys want to press F? Why I gonna tell Kojima? Well, I'm sorry. 
F. F. Okay, okay, fine. We'll press F. F. Oh, thank God! Ah! I wasted all the bullets. I'm F! <laughs> Listen, Sam. I was the one that brought you and Cliff together again. There was something I wanted you to know. You were never abandoned. And you're not alone. Is Cliff Don't my you father? See, Sam? You have to live. Do I have to? I I I know. I know. I know my girl. You guys see that shit? You're still connected. Oh. She really reminds of me of me. Sometimes I change clothes and I stream like six times, right? Holy shit!
right one. Oh, not an achievement. Thank you, thank you, Sam. Ah. Oh. For too long have we lived as strangers to one another. Divided by walls built to keep us safe. Oh, but now with the completion of the Cairo network, Mango. we may at last move forward as a people united. Today we come together to celebrate the birth oh, of a new nation. A new nation for a new world. The United Cities of America. I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby <gasps> swear to support and defend you, the people. Uh. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who we are. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another. Where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. Now, the old ways die hard. But I believe, my <laughs> fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our future. The Death Stranding is a part <laughs> of that past. He's dying. Hold on. An enduring shadow. I just gotta die for a constant reminder for a little. of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament, not to the greatness of any one individual, but to our capacity to come together, to the bonds between us, to our collective greatness. All things must come to an end, ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, embrace hope and reject despair, we will endure. President Bridget Strand and her daughter, Samantha <laughs> America Strand, sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we the people might be whole again. That they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness. But we find comfort in the knowledge that their memories will live on in the Cairo network and in our hearts. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story. One whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. <laughs> he's just leaving. He's like, see ya. America still needs that. Oh, he's back! That person without whom we would not be here. Now, the name is unimportant. But you know who I mean. And for that unsung hero, I have a message. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, we will be Going somewhere, Sam? Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh. This doesn't bother you anymore? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Now, would you like to know how we brought you back from the beach? Yes. We were Actually. going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy, which is when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Viagra? Yes. 
What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Hmm. Hartman thought that's why she left huh? it with me in the first place. Unfortunately... It didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> she'd already cut her beach loose. It was just... gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond, or sent you to some other beach. <laughs> we were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely a nothing month? to go A month? What? On the outside. How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. But don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. Huh. In the end, this is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, the gun? Guy Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lachna via their connection, and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDE. <laughs> The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position, so we could rescue you. <sighs> but it's not so easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And that's where the umbilical cord came in. What? We <sighs> wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The president must have known all of this would happen. What? Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. <sighs> Amelie, she said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of putting it. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to give you a hug. <clears throat> Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. We will shower Phoebe's together. Phoebe's mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common law wife. Lisa what? Bridges. What? Uh, uh, now, Cliff that... was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. Former U.S. Special Forces. What? Quite good at it by all accounts. Later appointed as an aide to the president, who used him for most of her wet work. The records go on to state that he vanished after Cliff's death. A warrant was put out, but he was later found dead. Turns out some people die harder than others, though. Dear John donned a mask and reappeared with a new identity. But you can't fool the chiral network. We restored the old records, and Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges. Take a look if you're so inclined. But don't say I didn't warn you. The president's got some dirty, dirty laundry. Oh. oh. I don't trust him. <laughs> I'll work with him if that's what it takes. So I was right for not trusting him Talk from this. Later. God damn it! Stupid game. It's like a pretzel. Oh, he was shooting him. Uh, Sam. Oh, hi. I trust you. I do not. The music tells me. I don't me expect you to forgive me. But would you hear me out? <laughs> okay. I killed Captain Clifford Unger. But why? I would tell you I did it for America. For love of why? country. But I didn't. I did it for her. For her? Because Listen. I loved her. With My wife? Heart. She was everything to me. Everything. Now, I'm not trying to make excuses. 
I just want you to know that not a day's gone by when I haven't thought about it. Time didn't help. Or the mask. Please, let me finish. He... The captain saved my life. Shit. You know why they call me Die Hartman. Why? Because he wouldn't let me die. He brought my sorry ass back home every time. And I loved him. Oh, so he was jealous. Of their as relationship. much as I loved her. Oh, he wanted an orgy? <laughs> Me too, man. And that's how I want. <laughs> and when he stared me down, that ghost, I knew he was here to kill me. Oh, shit. To make it right. And why shouldn't he? <laughs> oh, shit. Why didn't he? He couldn't save us. His kid, his baby, oh, he so and that's what brought him back. Uh... I guess when he he saw I was trying to do my part for America, he remembered who he was, and he. Forgave me. God! But I don't deserve it, God damn it! There is no atoning for what I've done. Dead God! No. <laughs> This is the next best thing. Maybe he brought me back from the beach for a reason. One last time. He wanted me to do this. Oh no. To keep on being Die Hardman. <laughs> no. He didn't. Nobody wants a president who acts like they're immortal. And if you're not scared of death, how can you value life? And life is pretty fucking fragile right now. And yeah, the old ways die hard. But that's what's gonna have to happen if we're gonna come together and build a better America. Oh, shit. That gun won't help you here. That's her words, not mine. Thank you, Sam. No! What? No. <laughs> hey, Sam. Been waiting for you. Lou? Holy <laughs> Dead? No! Poor thing was never truly alive. No! Not in this world, at least. No. The decommissioning order finally came through. No! Can't risk necrosis. The body can't stay here. 
I thought you might want to take care of it. No. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. That would be in direct contravention of an executive order. And there are laws about that kind of thing. Fuck the now laws. Now that we're a nation. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But if the alternative is defying the president, I can't do that either. Not me. All right. I got this. I'll go to the incinerator. No! No! No, 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 no. Before you leave, I'd like to check something quickly. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. <sighs> when you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. I trust you'll remember what I said. Right. Absolutely. Wait. What? Okay. 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 Weather. Don't think you'll be needing an umbrella. <laughs> I decided to follow my father's dream after all. Don't worry, I won't get mixed up with any terrorists this time. UCA's got my back. We're the first private delivery company to get the official approval. Sounds like you're moving up in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. Wait, there's something I have to tell you. I didn't shoot Higgs. Couldn't pull the trigger. What? So I let him choose. What? Death <clears throat> or eternal solitude on the beach. Fair enough. You never did like breaking things. That's right. I find and fix what's broken. And reconnect. I'm fragile, but not, not that, that fragile. fragile. <laughs> Want to come work for me? <laughs> Could use a man like you. The world's still <laughs> broken. Same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? Doesn't mean there's a place for me. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. Luke. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. I still do. Don't act like you're the same person. You've learned how to touch, to feel. You've connected with people, with us. Everything I touch, I lose. Sam! Who put 
close the gate? What what the fucking asshole? And that was the first time she actually cried. Right? The other times it was just the allergy reaction. Come on, Lou. One last delivery. Can we do it? Oh! Okay, does this game ever end? <laughs> Let's go. Lou?
you guys also hear him? Anyway. We're here. You still with me, Lil? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. Well, thanks for everything. Second, all this is over. I'm going to take you wherever you want to go. Oh no. Oh no, is this how he dies? Oh. Can I help you? Holy shit. John, is that you? Captain, what are you doing here? My wife's checked in. Oh, no. They don't want a repeat of last year. The void out in Manhattan. Is that Lucy? That is Lucy. I'm so sorry. I didn't know oh you were the God. husband. Lisa. Sorry. This isn't what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save BB. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. Okay, sorry. This is a woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me. I have a duty to protect our country. Lies are an unfortunate necessity. The president gave me the highest level access privileges. I've used them to manipulate the security system. We have five minutes before it resets, sir. Five minutes to talk. Off the record. How are you listening, then? Take BB and get out of this place. There's nothing I can do for your wife. I'm sorry. You were my commanding officer, but I swore an oath to the president to protect her and the country at all costs. Now, if she orders me to do something, I have to do it. I have to. But I served under you first. Oh, goodness. And your family doesn't deserve this. That's why Any of this. Oh, that's when he kills him. Why are you helping me? If they catch you. Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. 
When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Back then, I thought I was invincible. I thought I was some kind of action hero. But I'm not the hero. You are, sir. You're the reason I'm still alive. And it's past time I paid that debt. They're moving your son to a new facility tomorrow. You'll never see him again. He'll serve as the foundation of a new communications network. A sacrifice for a nation that no longer exists. I wrote down everything you need to know. It was the only way to keep it off the system. Burn it when you're done. The rest is up to you, sir. I believe this belongs to you, sir. Now, I can't terminate your wife's life support from inside her room. The system won't allow it. So, this is the only other option. No. No. Alarm is set to go off if she flatlines. I've rigged the system to spoof her vitals. But you won't have long. Five minutes, Tops. Hmm. Don't hesitate, sir. This is the only chance you'll get. Sorry, Lisa. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. I promise you. I promise you.
Bibi. Bibi. Bibi, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh my God! That's the first one we saw! Isn't it? His health is zero. Oh, it's so sad. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. That would be in direct contravention of an executive order. I got rank ass on cremating a baby. Also, the quest to cremate our mother, we walked exactly here and he told us to cremate the baby too because he was not functional, right? <sighs> A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Oh boy. I'm swimming. Oops. Hi. <gasps> so... 
Jones. Sorry, Captain. I do something. Shit. Don't. You got it. You two. Stay there. And hold your fire. I'm sorry, Lisa. 
I screwed it up. I've ruined everything. This room is off limits. No one goes in. When he's in there, sir, I saw him. You saw him all. Now deck the other way. Go! Yes, sir. No. Open it up, he's inside. Move, dumbass. The day is ending Let that yawn out There's no pretending I will hold you And protect Same mistake. Be yourself. Be free. Oh, my God. Captain. I need you to hand it over. Shit! John. No, no, no. Let no, it go. Don't. No. Please. Shoot him. I gave you an order. Shoot him. Huh? You told me your name was Sam Porter. <gasps> but you're Sam Bridges. to the future. Without you, I was just like any other cliff. Dead end. No way forward. Nothing but an 
obstacle. Looking on at the world people like you were trying to build. Dividing people was the only thing I was ever good at. You're holding yourself right now, Sam. You ask Kojima. BB too.
I know the way. in BB's pod, though. Ugh. 
Six level trust is you. Oh, the freaking beast. <laughs> Level trust is Praise be the bunny. Thank you, thank you so much.
Leute. Thank you. This was a hell of a roller coaster, wasn't it? Sadie, don't thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Regan. What the heck? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. It's the girl? <laughs> it's the girl? He's a girl. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh goodness. Oh Luciano, thank you so much for the 500 videos. Thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you so much for being here for the journey. Yeah, we can watch the the trailer for the next one. That was beautiful. I know. <sighs> Zanary, have a good night. Uh, now you guys can see how much I played off stream, huh? <laughs> oh.
you mean I lied? I didn't. How many? Wow. <laughs> Gosh, it was a lovely journey. We are not done yet. I mean, we are, but you know. Nice. Oh, I got an achievement. Thanks for everything. It's so sweet. Nice. Nice. I think I'm only missing uh, the collector to join the UCA. He was beautiful, wasn't it? <sighs> Am I so happy that when we unlock songs? I'll keep it coming. Is that a hint? Oh, BB Steam, oh god. Thank you guys so much for everything. You guys are so sweet. Ooh. We spent one hour of today's stream just reading. Oh, wow, we have been streaming for exactly six hours. I love Bibu. <laughs> Boo bunny. Oh, goodness, it was great. What? Have stabilized and that you're well on your way to recovery. Ah, not that it's your fault, but what I wouldn't give to trade places. We're all stuck in the president's office, working like dogs to get everything ready in time for the inauguration. But at least one of us is still free as a bird. You should head out, make the most of it. Could even do some orders if you wanted. Might do you good to get back in the game. You may recall it was raining buckets back when you left for Amelie's Beach. We took a real beating at the time, but we've done our best to service the structures and vehicles in the area. So you know, any cargo that was stored in your private locker at a damaged facility should have been transferred to your private locker here at this distro center. Anyway, busy or not, we'll still be on the end of the line if you need us. And if you want some alone time, we should be able to manage for now. Just make sure you're back in time for the big day, all right? See you then. 
Hey, Sam, you sure you don't have any unfinished business? Sam, I know you've been to hell and back and earned a break, but I've got a high priority request. Head to the distro center west of Capital Knot. You can review the details there. But there's more. He really wants a shower. Oh, gosh, this game. I love it. I have a pizza. Woo! Look at that! Wow. Tell me this is not the cutest bunny you have ever seen. He, he's falling asleep in my arms. Hold on. Oh, he's so sweet. We keep playing? No, Mango. Whenever I finish this stream, he starts destroying anything he can. He's actually an entity of chaos. The bull of destruction. He's just like cuddly and calm on the stream in front of you guys. The moment you turn your back, it sets the world on fire. And I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Regent. Thank you. Ah, oh, what a beautiful, what a beautiful game. I hope you don't have that much to do. So get your rest soon, your Regent. Thank you so much for everything. were open 
Why do you even think I sent him to the shower? Did you miss him? <laughs> so, did you guys like it? I loved it. I loved it so much. What a lovely game. I can't wait for the next one. Yes. I will I will log on my birthday. We'll play this game on my birthday, okay? Deal? It is. And I can't wait to see more. Ah! <laughs> he always gets me. Commemoration. <laughs> oh. Okay, fine. Fine. Yeah, you good boy. You good boy. Do that, Shabu. <laughs> it's a lovely game, isn't it, Granger? Quano. How do you mean? Like your face. I don't know. I, I don't even know if you can properly get spoiled in this game. I mean, let's be honest. This game is like a pretzel. This game is like a twisted pretzel. <laughs> so even if you get a spoiler here and there, it's gonna twist. And you don't know how many times. I just don't know how many times it's gonna twist. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, I thought BB was dead. And when he comes back, I just... I don't know, I was just so relieved. I don't know, there was something about it that... That's why I was crying like a maniac. You get it. I don't know, I just thought. Yes, I did notice. You were red. That's, I don't know, maybe lost. And then black when she was extinction. And then life, uh, when she decided to hug Sam and become good, she was wearing white. Yeah. Thank you, Ati. Thank you. Let's take a look at this. Yeah. I know. I I I had a feeling 
that you know i had a bunch of feelings that turned out to be right but until until you actually know what's happening like it's it's hard to know because like the game even when like you have a good feeling for things it, it just like makes you second guess yourself it, it doesn't help that i also second guess myself a lot so oh man i loved it i loved it so much uh actually i have been recording lakni uh the vod 